So the next we look at the anti antivirus software. Now what is an antivirus software? Antivirus software is a type of the software used to remove computer viruses, malicious software, Trojan horses, and other computer threats. So it's antivirus is actually yeah, it's a piece of tools, it's a tools where it actually will help us to do some scanning and to remove whatever malicious software which is not supposed to be there or Trojan horse, uh, some of the store software which is meant to steal our information and is actually meant to remove them. Now antivirus software provides functions such as monitoring, identification, virus scanning, virus cleaning or clearing, uh, automatic upgrade and also to perform a proactive defense. Okay. So let's look at the basic function of the antivirus. Um, first of all, virus prevention. So antivirus is the function is actually to prevent the viruses from attacking the computer. Uh, so for example, uh, whenever we download uh, a file which is from anonymous source, or maybe for example, if you plug in a USB stick which is from your friend, yeah, you have, they have uh, some files for you to copy in, and suddenly uh, you uh, antivirus detected there is a file which is suspiciously uh, uh, is a viruses and the uh, antivirus software will typically will not allow you to copy into your your hard drive okay uh, virus identification it can actually set scan for viruses uh, in the program or files running on the computer and also to compare the viruses against the virus signature database and try to identify them so this is a reason why uh, usually for antivirus software uh, we have to constantly run the update patterns or we call it the, the signature uh, database so this is actually depends on uh, uh, different uh, it, it depend on the uh, individual vendor so different vendors they they actually have a different source uh, for the uh, patterns and also the uh, virus clearing this is actually to restore the infected object according to the different types of the viruses and their infection characteristics so virus clearing basically means uh, some of the antivirus can actually help us to some of the case okay, can actually help us to to clean up the uh, the viruses uh, for the uh, for the infected file or uh, typically the file are the uh, the exe files okay the antivirus software components. The antivirus software consists of scanner, which is the main function is to do scanning, a virus signature database, and this is a database which is uh, designed to uh, to store uh, the latest signature and also to in charge for the update, and also a VM, which is integrated uh, by a main program. Now this is actually um, some of the uh, antivirus they do have a a very interesting uh, a virtual machine kind of a concept where uh, when this guy when the virtual machine perform a uh, scanning and it actually can uh, isolate the entire uh, the uh, the software from being exposed to the main operating system the key technologies of the antivirus uh, first of all unpacking the unpacking technology is a commonly used by antivirus software this technology can use to an, uh, an analyze compressed files, files which misleading instruction and also the pack files. So keep it simple as we know that uh, compressed files are typically the one with the uh, extension uh, zip or maybe the uh, .ra file. And uh, so the uh, the viruses software, uh, antivirus software typically can be can have the uh, functionality to uh, to unzip the file or maybe to unroute the file or maybe file with misleading uh, instruction okay um, and also pack file anything which is compressed and so antivirus can actually um, can can read the, uh, the 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 signature or the the, the patterns within the um, the compressed file so antivirus software without unpacking capabilities um, this is antivirus with the unpacking uh, capabilities. Okay, so typically they can do both. Okay, unpacking, then look at the virus, or maybe they can uh, also read the file 
which without unpacking. So the key technologies of antivirus software, self-protection. Now self-protection technology prevents the viruses from ending the running process of the antivirus software or tampering with antivirus software files. Alright, now some of the nasty viruses, they are very, very smart. They can actually look at uh, the, the task manager process of the Windows and they actually look for a particular antivirus software uh, program, which is EXE program, and they will actually try to end the program, which is to end the antivirus uh, protection function so that they actually can then spread the, uh, uh, to begin the attack, okay? So, um, so normally, uh, a good antivirus software, they actually have the self-protected features, which uh, they cannot be um, removed. The, their task cannot be just ended, just like that. Um, is to prevent uh, from being attacked. So, antivirus software usually deletes the infected files to remove the virus. Okay, this is actually a shortcut way, uh, a very easy way to 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 actually deal with the viruses is to remove the file but in some cases some of the system files may be deleted by mistake okay so maybe sometimes the antivirus thought that okay this is the file which infected then uh, and, and probably this file is one of the operating system files so as a result the system break, might break down and cannot be start up again or maybe the software itself or maybe whatever application cannot be run again so the repair technology of the antivirus uh, can actually perform a repair of a damages file and to recover back to the original state um, and etc so the next uh, feature of antivirus is the real-time update so real-time update is to update the uh, virus signature database um, and uh, it's usually lag behind computer viruses so which means usually the viruses is detected first by anyone else in the world then only the uh, vendor for example in this case the Symantec uh, endpoint protection company they will then create a fix or maybe create the signature of the virus and then to up to to be updated to all the computers which is running on the Symantec so therefore, a real-time update of the virus signature database is particularly important, which is not a big issue for today's uh, internet. Most of the computer now are hooked up to internet and we constantly let the antivirus software perform the update by themselves. And also they have the uh, proactive defense. So antivirus can also monitor programs action and files to automatically detect viruses and to perform proactive defense so this is the example okay so in case there's a file which um, is being triggered suddenly uh, and try to attack the, the, the PC or the server uh, so antivirus will then detect the pattern and to actually to suppress so we call this proactive defense okay. So these are some of the mainstream antivirus software in China and some of the software are also well known in the world. Uh, for example, like Kapaski uh, antivirus, this is a logo. Uh, we have Rising, 360 uh, antivirus, Symantec, very popular, uh, Jiangming, Kingsoft, McAfee, uh, and also the uh, Trend uh, Micro antivirus so what antivirus software do user needs and of course the first is user are concerned about antivirus uh, effect and they also concerned about the um, occupying the resources they do not want the antivirus once to install it, it will slow down the computers uh, and also the antivirus speed okay and the speed of uh, uh, deal with the viruses and also finally the uh, user interface is also very important they want to know how to manage and the easy way of um, of, of uh, looking at the interface and to take action 
upon receiving the alert and I would also I can also add on to one more uh, the software the feature which is to integrate with the firewall function okay that would be the ideal scenario so antivirus and the firewall uh, and this is actually quite common today um, so this is the reason why uh, the uh, vendor uh, of the antivirus software they don't call it just antivirus client software they actually call it the endpoint software so the reason for endpoint is because they want the software to be installed on the client PC and can perform multiple tasks that includes antivirus uh, firewall feature uh, USB control um, and example maybe to clean up your hard disk okay to perform a cleanup so we call it the endpoint right so some of the common knowledge of the antivirus um, so antivirus software cannot scan or kill uh, all viruses uh, okay there's no perfect software in the world um, there's always a new uh, viruses will be out in the market and uh, the, lead, the antivirus software probably cannot detect in time um, antivirus software cannot kill all scanned viruses okay and so which means that uh, even though they they, they, they scanned the other viruses sometimes uh, the, some of the viruses are very nasty and once they are in the memory they actually prevent people from uh, deleting their program or maybe to end the task <laughs> all right so one of the way to deal with that is to actually perform an offline cleaning offline means you have to reboot your operating system your windows and you need to put in um, we call it the antivirus um, uh, USB media to boot up from the USB go into the antivirus software from the software we scan the hard disk and to remove it this is one way uh, it is unnecessary to install two or more sets of antivirus software on one operating system of a computer unless for compatible or green version although many types of antivirus software are compatible in addition you are advised to view the list of incompatible programs sometimes it's true or sometimes it could be false um, so for example in the modern uh, Windows 10 in today's uh, Windows 10 they actually come with the uh, the Microsoft Defender which is one of the antivirus software and uh, as far as I know there's still a lot of uh, uh, user will also prefer to install another software which is their favorite antivirus which is the one that we just mentioned before like Symantec uh, antivirus uh, Kapaski or maybe trend micro and whatever okay and sometimes it works similar without any problem with and sometimes it doesn't work well so it's better to keep with one two the most <laughs> antivirus software may clear delete or forbid access to or isolate infected files um, it also may not process the files so this is actually we just talk about uh, so antivirus can also help to clear or maybe to delete uh, the file or maybe forbid access to which means uh, deny uh, f uh, the uh, user from double click the file or to open up the program and also to isolate the infected so sometimes antivirus will move the file into some other folder which this folder is protected and cannot be easily uh, you know execute alright so we come to the end of the chapter so now we talk about the quiz which of the following categories does a Windows firewall belongs to? So the answer here is software firewall and also standalone firewall. Now remember, software and hardware they are opposite. So Windows belongs to the software. Standalone and network firewall. Uh, network firewall is typically the appliances that's in between uh, a corporate or maybe the home and with the internet. And standalone is actually the uh, the one that we install on the client side. Which of the following components of uh, antivirus software? So the answer is scanner, okay, and virus signature database, and also the VM, okay. Now, as I mentioned before, um, today most of the vendor will come up with the different type of the software name. They call it the endpoint, which actually bundle with firewall feature but 
this is not the question is asking. The question is asking for just the antivirus uh, software. So firewall is not the choice. Answer is A, B, and C. Okay, so summary. So we actually, in this chapter, we actually spoke about the firewall overview. We talk about Windows firewall, Linux firewall, and also we talk about the uh, antivirus software, the concept, some of examples, and etc. So thank you.